you talk about how when you mentioned earlier things hit critical mass and, and just sort of the things align and, and yes. a momentum builds around the problem. Yes. Well, it starts with doing the work, but the work has to be of high quality. But you have to put it out into the world uh, and get, you have to find people who are on your wavelength. But the fun, the fun part is that there are people, if you're doing work that has honesty and is well made and has, um, uh, and, and communicates what you're trying to communicate, there are people all up and down the food chain in Hollywood, uh, from, from, from people who are kind of marginal to people who are incredibly successful, who will resonate to your work, who will respond to it. The challenge is then getting it in front of them. And so it's very important, in addition to doing the work, to target the people who are doing work that you admire. Uh, I always uh, suggest to people that they make a list of a hundred writers, directors, actors, producers, even studio executives who are doing the work that they most admire. So for instance, if you see a TV show and you like it, add that those names to your list. Then, particularly if you're in Los Angeles or New York or any of the major cities, but, cities, but particularly LA, uh, show that list to your friends and say, if you see these people, any of these names, giving talks, appearing on panels, let me know. Because then you can go to those places and you can talk to those people and you can meet them and you can start to establish um, connection. And, and then they get to be curious about you and then, then if you say, well, I've done this feature, you know, here, you know, it's a, a, the one, one of the great rules of Hollywood is that everybody hates to read. So a script is a very quiet and a very obnoxious object. So it's like, oh, do I really have to read that script? But if you say, I've made a film, it's much easier. And, or, or even if it's short, where people can just put it in the DVD player or click it, you know, on, on, online or whatever, they can watch it. They can have an immediate experience. You, you're, it's a much better commercial for you as a creative artist than just a script. And, and, and I speak as someone who's actually sold a lot of scripts, you know, uh, and, um, uh, you know, I have hundreds of hours of produced credits, so, so I've been successful pitching scripts, selling scripts, all that stuff, but I much favor making the thing itself. Because when you make the thing itself, it's such a better advertisement for you, first of all, and secondly, you're no longer auditioning, you're actually creating the work. But, it, but you can't just create the work and expect the work magically to find uh, its audience. So that's where you have to do the heavy lifting. But the cool part is, thanks to the internet, everyone is checking stuff out. And the moment, and it's very permeable, so the moment someone who's a buddy of J.J. Abrams emails J.J. and says, oh, you gotta check this out, he will. It has to be someone he knows, but then you never know, if you just start putting out in the world to the people you know, particularly, you know, it, there's gonna be a ripple effect. And um, even with Space Command, that's what's been happening, where people know about it, people have heard about it, and, uh, and it's just, you know, so then it's just really doing, recognizing that part of your job is creating the work and part of your job is getting the work out there. And most artists don't want to do that second part. They think, oh, it's hard, you know, I, I don't want to do that. Particularly writers. It's like, I want to sit in my room and type and I don't want to talk to people. You know, well, you know, tough. <laughs> you know, either, uh, either get, some, get, a, get a partner who's very outgoing or, or learn those skills. Because it is a very frustrating life to write scripts endlessly and have them go nowhere. And uh, so you should not allow that to be acceptable in your career, in your life. And uh, so you have, to be the, the, you have to be the guy that pushes the rock up, up the mountain. And uh, it's funny, a, a couple years ago I made a Star Trek episode without a studio or network. It was called uh, Star Trek New Voyages, World Enough in Time. And it starred George Takei, and it was a full hour long episode. We made it in 2007, 2008. Got nominated for the Hugo and the Nebula. and. Uh, but it was very difficult, and my mantra to myself while I was, I co-wrote it and directed it and executive produced it, and my mantra to myself while I was making it was, I am made of iron and nothing will stop me. <laughs> and I found that I needed to really live by that to get that made. And so if you take something like that on, and are, if you're determined to get to the finish line no matter what, then it simply becomes a question of, how do I do this? How do I make it possible? Who do I need to affiliate with? What, and what do I need to remove that isn't necessary? And, and, and you have to be very clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Because most people get stopped, most people get stuck, most people go nowhere. And you have to have a very keen eye as to what the problem is to be able to fix it. So that's part of it.